Our project is to develop a sensor that can detect acetone in human breath. When the body has used up all the sugars for energy, they start to burn fat. And as a consequence of that is it, the body creates what's called ketones and acetone as a molecule is one of those ketones. So with this project, we want to help to improve performance of elite athletes by the information that we can provide them with from the breath acetone measurements. And we also want to use it to help the diagnosis and the treatment of diabetic ketoacidosis, in particular in sick children. Rather than undergoing a blood test, they could breathe into our sensor and if they have elevated levels of acetone in their breath, then that would be an indication that they have type 1 diabetes. We received funding from the Medical Research Council Confidence and Concept Scheme and this allowed us to get our project off the ground. We then received money from Northern Accelerator, which was designed to commercialize the device. So we were able to hire a design company that worked with us to package the sensor up in a very nice professional looking way. Well, if we didn't have this funding, our instrument would still sit on our lab bench. There would be no prospect to actually go on a path to potentially get a spin-out company. The type of funding that we received is very important um, for the northeast of England because if we can successfully commercialize this device, we are likely to form a spin-out company which will employ local people and uh, use local businesses um, to, to help us um, in the supply chain. Researchers who do mostly fundamental research often might not see the prospect of their research in the real world and how to transition it from their lab into the real world. So the MRC Confidence and Concept Scheme is a great scheme to help you to bring your research out of the closed lab into the real world.